Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video we are going to solve one very interesting and challenging question from quartic equations. So let's get started by writing our equation x power 4. Then we have 8x cube term. Then we have 23x square which we are going to split 16x square then we will write 7x square 16 plus 7 is 23 then we will write the remaining terms 28x plus 6 equal to 0 now we will consider first three terms x power 4 plus 8x cube plus 16x square which we are going to write x square whole square this is x power 4 then we can write 16x square as 4x whole square then we have 8x cube which we can write 2 times x square times 4x product will be 2 times 4 is 8 x square times x is x cube so 8x cube and if i will consider x square as a then this is a square 4x as b then this is b square then middle term will give us 2 times a b which is one algebraic formula or identity a plus b whole square now a was x square b was 4x so instead of writing these three terms we can write x square plus 4x whole square now we have 7x square plus 28x here we are going to take 7 common so in the bracket we will write x square plus 4x then we have plus 6, RHS is 0. Now this is one quadratic equation in x square plus 4x. So let us assume x square plus 4x equal to y. So our equation would be quadratic in y. We will write y square plus 7y plus 6 equal to 0. Now it is easy to solve quadratics in comparison with quartic equations. Let us solve this quadratic first where y is x square plus 4x. So we will write y square plus 7y plus 6 equal to 0. Factors of 6 we can consider 6 times 1. So split of 7y would be 6y plus y. Let us use factorization method. y square plus 6y plus y plus 6 equal to 0. From first two terms y is common. We will write y plus 6 in the bracket. From last two terms 1 is common. We will retain the same bracket y plus 6 equal to 0. Now factorization is done. Once we will take y plus 6 common out. So in other bracket we will be writing y plus 1 equal to 0. Now we will use product 0 rule. We can write either y plus 6 equal to 0 or y plus 1 equal to 0. So from our first equation we will subtract 6 from both the sides. We will get y equal to negative 6. And for second equation we will subtract 1 from both sides. We will get y equal to negative 1. Now y was x square plus 4x. Again we will have two quadratic equations. So we will write here x square plus 4x equal to minus 6. And here we will be writing x square plus 4x equal to negative 1. 
let's solve both the equations so i will consider first equation first x square plus 4x equal to negative 6 i am going to use completing the square method so i need to add 4 to both sides so we will add 4 to both sides now LHS will give us one perfect square of x plus 2. So we will write x plus 2 whole square in LHS. x square plus 4 plus 4x equal to negative 2. Now we will consider a square root both sides. A square is coming out negative. We are going to get complex solutions. So better is to write here i equal to square root of minus 1. So, i square will be equal to negative 1. So, in RHS, I can write this is 2 i square. Now, we will take square root both sides and get x plus 2 will be equal to plus minus i times square root of 2. Now only we have to subtract two both sides so that we will get our first two solutions. We will write here minus 2 minus 2 plus and minus 2 will be over. We will get two complex solutions here x equal to minus 2 plus minus i times square root 2. Now we have to solve second equation x square plus 4x equal to minus 1. So we will write here x square plus 4x equal to minus 1. Add 1 to both sides. So we will cancel plus and minus 1 from RHS. We will get x square plus 4x plus 1 equal to 0. This time we are going to use quadratic formula. So, if I will compare our quadratic equation with ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0, we can write a equal to 1, b equal to 4, c equal to 1. So, we will write x equal to formula first minus b plus minus the square root of b square minus 4ac over 2 times a. Let's plug in all the values we will get minus 4 plus minus the square root of 4 a square minus 4 times 1 times 1 over 2 times 1. We will write equal to minus 4 plus minus the square root of 16 minus 4 over 2. So we are going to get two real solutions. 16 minus 4 is 12, minus 4 plus minus root 12 over 2, minus 4 plus minus the square root of 12 over 2. Now we know that 12 is 4 times 3, so we can write minus 4 plus minus 2 root 3 over 2. Now we have to divide numerator numbers by our denominator 2. We will get two real solutions minus 2 plus minus root 3. So here we have two real and two complex solutions. Let me write here x1 equal to minus 2 plus root 3, x2 equal to minus 2 minus root 3 x3 equal to minus 2 plus i root 2 and x4 last solution would be minus 2 minus i times root 2. Here we have two real and two complex solutions. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.